Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. It just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. I'm in the workshop and I noticed that we have a couple of nail pops and it reminds me of an email that uh, one of the subscribers had, had emailed me about and they said, listen, I've got these things sticking through the wall and it looks like it's the head of a screw popping through and what is this called and, and how do you fix it? And I said, so I emailed him back and I said, this is called a nail pop and I said, I'm going to do a video on it today so uh, keep an eye out for it. And, uh, and I'm gonna, just going to probably call it how to fix a nail pop and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so I've got two nail pops here in the in the shop and they're down here on the floor but I like to keep the place kind of nice so it's as you can tell I've got wood trim down here in the bottom so I, I kind of uh, I'm fussy. So I've got a nail pop here and I've got a nail pop here. So what happens is is that your house expands and contracts, expands and contracts, and your, your house also fluctuates like this. So we're on a slab here, so it's going to go like this. And even if you are, had a basement, it's still going to fluctuate a little bit. So what happens is you, you've got wood studs and they expand and contract. Your drywall doesn't do anything, it stays steady. So if your drywall, or if your, if your 2x4 behind here, your stud, pushes forward a little bit, that screw or nail that's embedded in it holding this drywall in is going to want to come out a little bit. And that's what happened here and here and I've got a few others I'm going to fix too. So this is how you fix it. First off you take off the top. You go like this. Make it, make it flush. Okay. Just like that. And we'll do this one too. Okay. See. So basically what it's doing is we're taking off the paint and a little bit of the drywall surface to make it kind of flush. And I see that I see that it's a screw. And I see this one's a screw as well. Older homes will have nails. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to push that screw in just a little bit more with my remember this bit that we had on our uh, when we were talking about bits, this is the bit that I use for um, screwing in drywall screws into drywall because it gives me a nice depth. So I'm going to push this guy in and I'm going to push this guy in. All right, so that's step number one. You'd think that would be the end of the process, but it's not because it's surpassed the paper on the outside of the drywall. So really there's nothing, these two screws are doing zero. So what you want to do is you want to put a screw up here and you want to put a screw up here. You want to put a screw over here and you want to put a screw under here. Top and bottom of each one. Okay? So here we go. I'm going to put one just below it. Perfect. And I'm going to put one just above it. Nothing. That's good. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm going to, out of my little container that we had in our box, remember we put our, our toolboxes together, I'm going to pull out two, two drywall screws that I have in here. I'm going to do one over here, just below it. and one just above it. Perfect. All right, now what's, step, what's the next step? What do you think the next step is? That's right, we have to fix it with some mud. All right, and we went over mudding before and how to dry, how to, how to mud drywall and, and all that. So 
as you can see, I'm putting a little bit of mud on my knife because I don't need a lot. We're not going to fill the pan. We don't need the pan. And I'm just going to remember how we did it. Push it in, wipe it off. Push it in, wipe it off. And that's it. You want to do it again? Okay. Push it in, wipe it off. Push it in, wipe it off. Let's do it one more time. Push it in, wipe it off. Push it in, wipe it off. You can do that all day long. This will eventually dry, of course, remember. And then it might recede in because when the mud dries, it tends to shrink a little bit. So then you're going to want to put on probably a second coat. Give it a nice light sanding. Color match the paint and just touch it up. And just touch it up. And you have fixed it. You fix the problem. Nail pop. Real easy to fix. Be the hero of the house. Go around. Usually they're at the top of the house. We're usually around the top by the, the top of the wall towards the ceiling. You see a lot of those because it's, it's the height. You're going to see everything kind of sways like this. Down in the bottom, that's kind of rare. But I have a couple, so I'm going to fix them. And primarily because it's in my shop and it's not in the base part of the house. So you can do this. This is really easy. You don't have to hire anybody to do this. And don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Of course you can do it. This, if they can do it, you can do it. Just have them show you how. Like I did. And I'll see you in the next video.